DMX is art, so we're painting. This is our art. You're here for a reason. Go out and give it the best you got. think of Talon Estonia, you definitely don't think BMX, but they have one of the, the biggest BMX contests in the world and they have an amazing scene here. riders from all around the world. You don't get to ride with that many dudes throughout the year, you know, so it's cool to be at an event like this. I'm competing in this contest for fun, you know, like, I've came the last three years, so coming back this year is just another good feat. This is one of the best BMX contests, especially with it being taken out of X Games and stuff, like this is, this gets the most exposure out of all the contests in my opinion, and it's just such a positive environment. It's really hectic out there. There's a lot of people out there, so you really gotta be aware of your environment, what's around you, what everyone else is doing. And this is practice for you. A little hectic at times. Oh, <laughs> hey, hit your butt, Gary. <laughs> I love who announces this contest, like Catfish is one of my good friends and every time I get to ride my bike when he's announcing I get so fired up and get excited to ride. They're absolutely amazing, they pretty much like get me stoked to ride my bike and do crazy tricks that I do so they're probably a big factor in my riding and I love both of them because they're just so motivational and good people so it's a good time with them. Having them announce the event the whole time, you know, it's like showing our personality through their voice. They got us excited, they get the crowd excited while we do our riding, you know, it's cool. Riding a contest, I feel like I have to put my headphones in because I have to block everything out. I have to be in my own zone. You can't let these little things interfere with your whole mindset. So I like to just be in my headphones, be in my own world, and just do what I'm going to do and put on a performance. It just puts me in my own little world and just like my own little like happy world to have fun. It's sick. You know, dreams do come true. Like as, as a kid, I grew up in the stands watching an event, looking up to my heroes, and now I'm at an event competing with them. Ryan Nyquist is timeless. He's been doing it for like 30 years. It's like he's got that classic style that he's molded into his own, and he's definitely got a bag of tricks that no one else does. Like situations like this where someone points to you and says go and you have to do your hardest tricks all in one run, like that's that's always a challenge and that's motivating me as like a competitor at heart. I like being in that position and being challenged, so for me that kind of keeps me going. If you make it out safely, like throughout the whole event, then that's winning. There's just that energy here, the fans and everyone that come to this event, they just get behind you no matter what, and it always motivates you to do a little bit more than what you thought you were able to do. My advice to the younger generation is just to keep it fun like, and do exactly what you want to do on your bike because if you want to do it then you're going to put way more effort into it and way more energy into it and you're going to get a better finished product. If you truly go for your passion and you like doing that then you can do whatever you want with this world. There's ways around it and it's not going to be easy, it's never easy but you can do it.
beyond my wildest dream because I never expected to be able to travel and do what I do because of a bicycle.